Seven weeks ago, 24 girls set out on a competition. Becoming the face of Max Factor is a huge opportunity. You don't get this at the beginning of your career. Just amazing. It's such a big opportunity for them. Winning the face will transform one of those girls' lives forever. Hello, girls. Welcome to the face. The girls were handpicked and trained by three supermodel mentors. Catwalk icon Erin O'Connor. It gives them the opportunity to change their lives as mentors. I really want to get it right. Victoria's secret beauty, Caroline Winberg. I'm always a happy mentor. And the legendary Naomi Campbell. I'm not there to make friends. Someone comes for me, hell yes, I'm coming back for them. They've spent seven weeks competing. Let's start shooting then. This is the runway of your life. Hello, welcome to Paris. In a series of campaigns. Team Naomi looking very fierce. Come on, girls, attack! I hope you guys put it together. Oh, God help you all. For real world clients. We won! We won again! Now I'm angry. I am not happy where we're at. I made my decision. <laughs> we are absolutely gunning for our girls. Now, four girls have made it to the final. Cheers. For Team Caroline, two girls, Nadine and Eleanor. I don't pick favorites in Team Caroline. I'm cheering for both my girls. For Team Erin, Eliane. She has been the underdog throughout this whole competition. For Team Naomi, Emma. Only one girl can win, and only one mentor can win. Isn't it weird that the winner is sat around this table? It could be any one of us. It just yeah. depends how we perform in front of Max Factor. Right now is, is not teamwork anymore. It's everyone for themselves. My biggest threat is Nadine. She's been doing so well. She won the last campaign, so obviously she's massively capable of winning another one. Nadine is my biggest threat. She's, like, good at everything, like... And that's exactly how I want to be, like... This isn't going to be fun. I'd have to say, one of us the winner, not all of us, so go hard or go home. The next face of Max Factor will be chosen tomorrow night. This exclusive London location will host a catwalk show to decide the winner. But there is only space for three girls in tomorrow's show, so one won't make it that far. Today, the four finalists are meeting Max Factor for the first time. The brand will judge their potential and eliminate one girl this evening. I think Naomi and I are the ones that are going to feel the most challenged by today, getting our girls in that catwalk finale show tomorrow. I'm pretty lucky because I have two girls left in the final, so that means a bigger chance of winning for me. The judges for Max Factor are Scott Bradley, their creative director, and Caroline Barnes, their makeup artist. Our brand stretches all the way back to the 1930s, where Max Factor transformed ordinary women into some of the 20th century's most iconic screen goddesses. One of you will be the face to continue that legacy. You'll be on magazines, billboards and press ads, and you'll be the face of our brand in thousands of stores nationwide. It's a massive opportunity, and it's a career-changing opportunity. So work hard and good luck. The judges have two tests for the girls today. This afternoon, they'll face a screen test to see their personalities on camera. But first, a beauty shot to judge their photographic potential. A beauty shot is not like a fashion shot. It's not where you've got props, clothing, you've just literally got the face and nothing else. And that face needs to have charisma, it needs to captivate, and needs to make women want to be inspired to be beautiful. 
First, Eleanor from Caroline's team. Keep a strong expression. You don't always have to look at the camera, but you know, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Hold that. Lovely. And a little bit more attitude. Lovely. You're doing great. Gorgeous. Seven weeks ago, Eleanor left behind her university studies and family in Essex to audition for The Face. When I was growing up, I was always a, a kind of tomboy. I wasn't a typical girly girl. I was quite lanky. And I'm not stick thin. I have got some hips on me. I do have boobs. So modelling isn't easy. You do have to kind of work really hard. I've definitely dreamt as big as winning The Face. I'm just hoping I do get a lucky break. <laughs> Show off your beautiful eyes. Remember strong attitude, you know, confidence. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I like it when she's looking beautiful. away. That's gorgeous. gorgeous. I was trying to kind of look like longingly into the distance and try my best to tell a story with my face. Her mind is somewhere now. She's fixated on something. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we knew that shit was going to do good here. We did. Gorgeous. Max Factor aspired to a real timeless beauty, a wonderful, approachable face that is warm and inviting and that, as a girl, would turn a magazine she would be able to relate to. Time's up. Yeah. Thank you. We've Beautiful. got it. They did seem happy. I got a few claps, which can't be bad. Hi. Next is Nadine, Caroline's second finalist. Yes. So it's all about, you know, bringing out something out of your eyes. Just gorgeous and beautiful and yeah. right. really great. <laughs> Nadine moved to the UK from Portugal with her family five years ago. When I first moved to the UK, it was very hard for me to adapt because I had no friends, so I was always at home. The first bus that would take me home from school, I was in that bus. Because I'm so spoken, my mum never used to believe I would last long in the modelling <laughs> industry. I think my dreams are achievable with hard work, so I know that I have to work for it and I'm willing to. Nadine has won more campaigns and masterclasses than any other finalist. Keep those eyes open, beautiful. It's all about the emotions on the face. Think about like you're in your own world and you think about something and it just catches that moment. Look up, you see your eyes shine, it's really pretty. She's got a beautiful oval face shape, really lovely high cheekbones, intense eyes, lovely shape to her brow. Nadine looked absolutely stunning and all of her shots looks great. She has a great face for beauty. So I think, you know, I have high hopes. It's super pretty when you're like that. I think she's definitely taking direction. Okay, time's up. It's great. Well We've got it, definitely. I feel confident about my beauty shot. I boost the max factor that I can do this. Next, Team Erin. Hello, Eliane. And Eliane. How are you doing? Eliane left her devout Christian family in Bolton to try to become the face. Growing up, my mum's strict, so I could have a boyfriend, couldn't have sleepovers. For me, coming here, shy. Personally, I did not think I would get this far. I've learned to believe in myself. Winning the face, that would be my whole life changed if I won the face. I don't have a plan B. My normal doesn't work out, which is scary. Like, probably have to live with my mum forever. So you ready for this? Ready. Yeah. Ready. Ready with your life. Yeah. I want Eliane to win because she deserves to. She has progressed so quickly. And in my humble opinion, she has the most potential to be a real fashion model. Beautiful. Hold that. Keep that attitude in your face. Good. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful, harder eyes. Very elegant. And these are very fashion photographs. Lovely. It's a very distinctive face. She's unconventional, which is great. Incredibly unique looking. Chin down. Give me some mystery in those eyes. Lovely, beautiful. 
Eliane was stunning today. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so worried for my girl, Emma. <laughs> she knows it works She's very really well stronger. for her. And that's a shot she should be really proud of. Good. Oh, it's some really gorgeous shots there. Yes. Really gorgeous. The last shot was great. It was amazing, like, that's the life I want to be. I want to wake up every day pausing, like, I love doing that. I love being in front of the camera. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Last is Emma from Team Naomi. A-level student Emma lives with her mum in Canterbury. My mum always used to say to me, it doesn't matter what other people think, it's about what you think, it's about what you know to be true. But I do really, really want to prove to Naomi that she picked the right girl, she kept the right girl in the final, and that, you know, she, she can be proud of me. You know, which side is your best profile? And I hope you remember the notes of things I told you that didn't work. It's very nerve-wracking because one girl will leave today. Beautiful, thick of mystery. I'm trying to keep calm. I just want to keep Emma focused. Because when Emma focuses, she can nail it. Don't lose your neck. Remember, you've got a neck. Don't look at the camera all the time. Sometimes look to the side. She needs to give me a little bit of warmth or a little bit of intrigue. A girl needs to be a chameleon if she wants to be a cosmetics model. You want a face that's going to tell a story. It's a tad more warmth in her eyes would be nice. It's yeah. a little bit defensive. I really want this one to work, you know. Relax. Relax. Yeah. It's fake. I'm going to go in. Yeah. The pictures are fine, you look great. I think let's just get a little bit more energy or something, moving a little bit. Where's your mind? What's going to intrigue me? What's that story I'm getting through your eyes and your body language, you know? I tell you right away if it works, you know I'm not going to lie. Look to the other side, just smile. She seems more engaged, I think, now, doesn't she, in something? Mouth closed, chin down. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. I think this could be a match factor face. Give me a bit of flirty as well. That's always a yeah. nice mood. Okay, you're good at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, time's up. I was thinking about everything I'd learned throughout the competition, all the mistakes I've made, make sh making sure I wasn't making those mistakes. So hopefully, I've just done enough to make it through to tomorrow. The first of today's challenges is over. Now the girls face a screen test so the judges can decide who should be in tomorrow's catwalk show. It's the final of an eight week search to find the next face of Max Factor. The girls have each done a beauty shot. Now, they face a screen test. To be a brand ambassador, you have to be so much more than just a beautiful photogenic face. You have to meet the press, you have to be doing video shoots, commercial shoots. We really need a great all-round who's energetic and effervescent. Hi. Hello. Hello. These tests will help the judges decide which girl to eliminate before tomorrow's catwalk show. Eleanor is first. I think my girls have exactly what they're looking for. They're both well-spoken. I think it's a good challenge for them. Each girl must pick a makeup product and talk spontaneously on camera about why they like it. Everyone is a bit frightened of the talking challenges because you're making it up without a script or anything. You have to be mentally really prepared for it. Look in the camera, flirty, nice, friendly. Yes. OK. OK, roll camera and action. And I put on my makeup. Oh, sorry. <laughs> action. When I put on my lipstick, I can, you know, deal with the world. I can be myself and, and I'm happy. A little bit nervous. So, you know, do it a few times. You can change the sentences around. You can throw in some other words. Take it slow. 
When I put on my lipstick, I become the confident, flirty and happy young lady that I know I am on the inside. I believe her. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's very natural, isn't it? Very well. I feel myself with this lipstick and it definitely loves you as much as you love it, so I would get yours now. Yeah, I'm... She's nailed it. I think yeah. we've nailed it. Good. Well done. Thank Great. You. Good job. Although it was strange at first doing it, you know, I was getting really into it with, like, the look into the camera and, you know, pulling out the cheesy one-liners. That's what you needed to do in the challenge. I must not be like, okay, there's Elliot. She's so you ready? Yeah? You look great. Nadine is next. OK, so you say, when I put on my mascara, I become... And you talk in the camera. Roll camera. And action. <clears throat> when I put on my mascara, sorry. <laughs> it gives me the confidence I need to take on my daily basis. So, uh, sorry. When I put on my mascara, I become fierce. I would never leave my house without it. I don't believe her. No. Throw in some more things, I feel confident, it opens up my eyes. And action. It brightens up my eyes. Uh, it brings me the look that I always want. Unfortunately, the nerves are overriding her natural energy. Maybe you should go and have a chat with her. Hi, Nadine. You could just project your voice and just be a little bit clearer. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you just think a little bit more about what is it that you love or what is that emotion, you might feel that it's kind of, you know, comes a little bit more from within you and a bit more how you feel, maybe less a little bit about the product. Let's see how we do with that. Just take your time and breathe. Action. When I'm... <clears throat> Sorry. Mm -hmm. No. It's pressure. Take your time and relax and we feel easy. I know it's difficult, but just think about how you actually feel when you put it on. You've got to be able to take direction. Uh, if, if it's wrong, you've got to be able to correct it. Talk to the camera like your friend is there and you're like, hi, when I put on this mascara, I feel amazing, glamorous, you know. When I put on my mascara, I feel fierce. I feel confident and I feel ready. Ready to do anything that I need to do on a daily basis. And he has the finished look that I always want, sir. Getting much, much great better. Great. great. That was that great. One. Come on, Nadine. Just focus. I feel confident. I feel fierce. And I feel ready. Ready for whatever the world has to throw at me. Whatever the look, whatever my mood, this will always be my final touch. I would never leave my house without it. Much better, yeah. OK, that's time. Thank you so much. There's this room full of people and you're just like, everyone's watching me, everyone's looking at me, and the words start getting messed up and... I don't know. I was just too nervous. Hi, Eliane. Next, Eliane on Team Erin. Make sure your face is present. You're going to get your lipstick. Turn to camera and deliver that first line. It's going to be really difficult. We have seen Eliane struggle to speak, to literally speak, to be heard. Hopefully today is the day that she can redeem herself because I think she has the most potential in this competition and there's a lot of people that are underestimating her. She's not going anywhere. Happy face, Eliane. Smiley and light. That diva that you are, you know it's there. And action. When I put on my lipstick, I feel empowered. One lash... Yeah, she's terrifying, I'm saying. Keep calm and you take your time and you think of what you want to say. Keep that lovely smile and that energy, Eliane. Action. When I put on my lipstick, I feel empowered. My lips feel luscious, big and... 
Lush is big and beautiful. That was a great line. Go again. She's nervous and she's got her isms. So that's her personality. Yeah, she's, she's quirky. She's now Aaron's got to control, trying to control them. My lips feel luscious and I feel like a diva. Like... <laughs> Don't panic. Be calm. Or just be yourself in the way that you talk, Eliane. And action. When I put on my lipstick, I feel like a woman. I feel empowered, happy, and my lips just feel luscious, and the boys just can't stop looking at me. She sort of seemed to have a nice smile, and then she just winged it a little bit, but then you started to see something. There was a sort of cheek. Mm. I thought there was a slight cheekiness. She has got confidence. Mm. When I put on my lipstick, I feel like a woman. I feel empowered. I feel beautiful. There's moments in this that I think are really, really strong, where she's almost becoming a diva, you know. My lips just look luscious, like luscious. Yeah. Dance. Oh, no. Dance. 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 First part first of that was part fantastic. Of that was really, good. really fantastic. It was really good. So there. And I love what you were saying. You see, this is coming naturally to you now, Leanne. Believe it. Action. When I put my lipstick on, I feel like a diva. I feel beautiful. I feel empowered. I feel like a woman. That's brilliant. All the boys just can't stop staring at me. Just luscious lips. <laughs> did my best. Like, I could have probably done better if I'd, like, had a little bit longer, but I've never done that, and, like, I'm just so proud of myself that I did that. Like, it just shows another side to me. Hi. Finally, Emma on Team Naomi. I can try it. Really sweet. Mm, OK. I'm not a sweet person. And I knew why she was telling me to be sweet, because Eleanor is sugar and spice and all things nice, so I knew I had to compete with her. Like, being sweet is just not something that I do on an everyday basis. Have fun, OK? Remember your age. Roll camera and action. When I put on my mascara, I become superwoman. Yeah. It's the best thing, I think. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, don't say sorry. Just keep going. It gives me a dramatic look from dusk till dawn, and I wouldn't leave the house without it. It is the best tool. Sorry, I said I think I'm sorry. Go again. When I put on my mascara, I feel like Superwoman. I said that wrong, didn't I? Settle, breathe, get yourself into that place of being sweet and serene. And action. When I put on my mascara, I become Superwoman. It empowers me. Do you know if she's talking at the camera a bit too much? And women through generations have noticed that mascara is the one thing they really need to get them through the day. It's quite fast. Mm, you can just calm it down slightly. Just a touch of grace. Yeah. Hi, Emma. Hi. Um, taking some air, brief. Just slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Less okay. words. Great. Thank you. Fabulous. Action. When I put on my mascara, I become superwoman. It empowers me. Mascara really is a girl's best friend. Brilliant. Mm. She's listened to every word you said. Women through generations have realised that mascara is the one tool you need before you leave the house. So confident. Oh, my God. She is like superwoman. It gives me the confidence to achieve everything I need to achieve in that day. And it's the one thing I take out of my makeup bag. It's the most important thing. And I know that anyone who tries my mascara will feel exactly the same way. Cool. Time. Wow. OK, cool. Thank you. Woo! I don't know if I've nailed that take. Um, I don't know what they're looking for exactly. I don't know what the other girls have done. But I know I gave it my all, and it was actually quite fun. I think when you enjoy something, it shows as well. Both challenges are over. There are only three places in tomorrow night's catwalk show. The mentors and their girls are about to find out who Max Factor have chosen. Girls, I want to say how much I've appreciated watching you all work today. You're all so different, but each of you have really shone. It's been hard. But we have made our decision. The first girl 
who is going to walk the catwalk tomorrow night is Emma. Thank you. The second girl who is going to walk the catwalk tomorrow night is Eleanor. The third girl who is going to walk the catwalk tomorrow night is Eliane. Yeah. So sorry, Nadine. You were tense this morning. It got the better of you. It happens to the best of people, and you mustn't take it personally. And remember, tomorrow's another day. Nadine, I'm so sorry. I really thought you were gonna make it and such a pretty girl. Okay. You got so bad. I was thinking, please say my name. Like, when's my name coming up? When's my name coming up? And it didn't. You're gonna go so far, Nadine. You're such a beautiful girl. I didn't expect Nadine to go home today. I thought Nadine could win the whole competition, so I have to keep all, all my hope on Eleanor because, you know, she's the only girl I have left in Team Caroline, and, you know, I really want her to win this. I knew from when I saw Emma that she was special. Now we've got her to the finals, and I hope Max Vector can really see it too. I think it's such a huge achievement for Eliane that she's in the final now and it's her time to shine and I'm not going to let her do anything less than that. The search is nearly over. This evening the next face of Max Factor will be chosen after one last catwalk show. Today is the last day of the competition. I cannot believe I'm still here. It's important for me to, like, put everything I've learned into practice today, cos I want to go out with a bang, like... Waking up this morning, it's funny when you forget for that split second, and today's the day, and it, it is scary. Tonight's show will be held in this historic London location. The girls must each perform two solo walks. A choreographer explains the routine. Absolutely stomped down that catwalk. You know, it's about being powerful, it's about being feminine and beautiful and aspirational. Seeing the venue for the catwalk, it's absolutely beautiful. It's very strong, elegant, so it isn't really the place to make any mistakes, and I hope I don't. Hold it, hold it. I know that you feel that you've held it for long enough. Just, like, have that moment. Be powerful, be strong. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay? Like, my last catwalk experience wasn't great at all. Like, I didn't take directions, I didn't do exactly how they told me to do it. But I think this time, it's, it's my second chance. I have to be as, like, good as I can. 30 minutes until the show. The audience includes former contestants and the Max Factor judges. Well, tonight is the night, and we haven't made a decision yet, actually. Each one is totally striking, individual and different for different reasons, and each one can embody a different ethos and spirit of the brand. Every time I think Eliane's going to be perfect, I then switch to Eleanor, and then we go to Emma. Hopefully we're feeling that when we see the girls walk down the catwalk tonight that we'll go, yes, 100% yeah. convinced. Five minutes until the show. The audience take their seats. Eliane will walk first. This is your moment. And everybody to see me today. It's incredible we've come so far, but I always believed in Eliane. What I want to see her do tonight is just take her time, striding down that catwalk like a swan. She has been the underdog throughout this whole competition.
It's a quick change for her second walk. It's funny, the pace of her walk picked up when she got that rapturous applause, and, and there's nothing like it. striking face like we're coming down the runway. Almost got her own stuff. She is very elegant. I love these little debris flares that she puts into everything though. It really makes me smile. That was so good, like I've got an adrenaline like Eleanor is next. The thing is, you never know what the client is looking for. It would mean a lot to me to have Eleanor win. It's my little girl, and I would be so proud. Eleanor's struggling with her second dress. It's a little bit too long. It's too long for her. Just in worst case, hold it a little bit here, like elegant. And just a little bit on the side. And yeah. Walk and you should like relax your face and stay a little longer yeah. in the end. She is just so elegant. She wears the clothes really well. Don't stumble, don't lose it now. Just that's how you come out of it. Take it in stride. Just carried on going and carried on trying to be as confident as I could, even though I thought every step I was potentially falling over. I hope me tripping over my dress wasn't a deciding factor. Last on the catwalk is Emma. Hope that Emma shines on the catwalk, but now it's out of my hands and there's nothing I can do. She's going to have to win this all on her own. I was really proud of Emma on the catwalk. She kept everything that we spoke about. She was great. To finish the show, the girls have a final walk, along with their supermodel mentors. It felt very special to be on the catwalk with Eliane. 
especially six weeks ago. She wouldn't even look at me and walk by my side. It was amazing to see her being poised and together. She was magnificent. I know I've achieved that so much getting this far. You know, like, I think I've grown. I'm just so happy and you don't understand how much this means to me. Like. You know, I was so proud when I saw Eleanor out there. She, you know, she just put a big smile on my face, and I think she did so great. You do feel amazing. I just hope that they see the potential in me, and that's what they want for their Max Factor campaign. I loved working on the catwalk with her. I felt like a real proud mum. Ah, the emotion when I was walking with her, when I got to the end of the runway. That's when it came up for me. When I went to hold her, I just wanted to burst out crying right then and there. I tried to hold it together. I was proud of her, to be walking alongside her, to show everyone this is Team Naomi. The show is over. Now the judges must decide who should be the next face of Max Factor. Tonight, one of three girls will be awarded a contract to be the new face of Max Factor. Becoming the face of Max Factor is a huge opportunity to be splashed on billboards and posters and magazine ads nationwide. This is an amazing launch pad. I would like to be the face of Max Factor, so for one of these girls, I think it would be amazing. Winning the face will transform one of those girls' lives forever.
girls, can I just say what a breathtaking show that you've put on for us today. It was truly magnificent watching you all walk down the runway. Eleanor, Emma, Eliane, you should be so proud of that. It looked like you belonged on that catwalk and it was a perfect conclusion to the end of the challenges. How's this been for you, Eleanor? It's been absolutely incredible. I feel so lucky to have been in this competition from the start to the end. And, you know, I'm just loving every single second of it. I just felt in my element, absolutely loved every second. What's it been like, Eliane? I'll never forget this experience. It's like the biggest thing that's happened so far in my life. And I'm just humble and grateful to have gone through this. Emma, what did it feel like to walk alongside Naomi? I could never have imagined that I could be walking down a catwalk with Naomi Campbell. And it was kind of like a rush, because I felt like I'd done myself proud and I'd done her proud. And I knew we'd been through so much together to get to this point. I'm very proud of you. You have... You put your focus hat on and you did focus. And you did rise above it. And this is why you're here. You're three finalists. Well, look, thank you, all of you. It really has not been easy to decide between the three of you. We've struggled right up until the last minute. We really have. But we have made a decision. So the girl that we have chosen to be the face of Matt's Factor has a very unique, strong beauty statement. She exudes confidence. She has wonderful presence. But most importantly, her beauty is very representative of our current times. These are all the qualities that really go to make a true icon. And we're convinced that the girl we've chosen really does have the potential to go on to be a true classic beauty. The girl who will become the next face of Max Factor is... Thank you so much for everything. You're so lucky. You have such an amazing opportunity ahead of you. Thanks to you. I'll never forget. I love you. They gotta do everything they say to I you. Will. I don't want to hear anything naughty, okay? I wouldn't dare. Everyone had really special attributes and Eleanor. You've got so many qualities that we think are truly, truly Max Factor qualities. So I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more from you. Two months ago, I would never have seen myself in this position. And it's been a whirlwind. And I just feel so, so lucky. I look at Eleanor and I see a beautiful, gorgeous girl. She has class. And she has a great personality. I think we'll see much more of Eleanor. Eliane, we debated very, very long and hard about yourself. Thank you. This has been an amazing experience and I'm just so grateful I've got the chance to do this. I set out to make Eliane the best version of herself that she could be. And tonight she blew me away. She's a survivor and her instinct is to get back up and do it again. It's been an absolute victory for her and she can be so proud of herself. It's great to be a mentor. And, you know, I think you should always share the good things in life. When I first saw Emma, I saw that she had a great potential. And over the weeks of getting to work with her, just saw her strength build and she's worked really hard she deserves it it means a lot i know that it was really close between myself Ellen, and eliane i'm so happy that i picked naomi as my mentor i knew from the beginning that was who i needed a year ago naomi was just kind of like a fictional character this like amazing woman who traveled the world because of her beauty and now i'm working alongside her and I've listened to everything she said and I've put it into practice and proved to her that I've won because of all that she's taught me. That's incredible. That's the best. I'm a tough love mentor, but I'll always be honest and I will get you through.